I have it all on camera. Camera does not lie. Get me off of the video. Someone pepper sprayed your entire entrance. So the fact that the sergeant just let that happen, shot pepper spray at the glass. You want me to spray you You're wearing this. Okay. okay, you're in public, ma'am, and I'm not gonna have this whole argument with you now. You have the right to do whatever. Absolutely. I think it's just like this day and age, it's like. Okay, so that tells me you actually didn't want a real answer. You're not allowed to put in here. I'm not allowed? Okay, so there, it says right here I can. And it's weird because you guys are dressed like this, I feel like you guys are against or anti like what I believe in, but hearing you talk, I'm like, well, maybe we have the same. Back up, back up. I'm in charge of the post office, I'm just curious. You don't think that's a problem? I do. I don't care, you're in public too. I have the right to know who's okay, filming me. That's Pull not, your mask that's... down. Who are you? Are you redoing the post office? Welcome to Impact Media, where we dive headfirst into the intriguing world of First Amendment auditing and expose the realities of a society surrounded by cameras and cluelessness. Get ready for a roller coaster ride as we educate, entertain, and sometimes make you facepalm at the lack of privacy knowledge out there as we remind people that they are always being filmed. Join us as we capture the hilarious reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Some reactions will make you laugh, while others will leave you questioning the state of education in our tech-filled landscape. Brace yourself for eye-opening encounters, mind-boggling encounters, and a whole lot of, did that really just happen? moments. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and most importantly, learn about your rights in a world where even your cup of coffee might be watching you. Welcome to a channel where we expose the absurdities one camera at a time. And never forget to please take a second and like this video so the YouTube algorithm bots can share this far and wide. We are back here at Dana Point doing a follow-up audit here of the Dana Point post office. Last time we were here the residents were kind of crazy so hopefully they learned something uh, we'll be hopefully visiting a couple of these today and you guys have a wonderful day enjoy the video what are you guys doing? Uh, just take video of the post offices are you redoing the post office no 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 we, we audit them sorry we audit them oh you are yep. hi there how are you good wonderful good what are you guys doing what's this all about just taking some video of the post office i mean for we don't disclose that while we're working Okay. Can I help you out in any way? No, not at all. Okay, all right. Yep, before we get too deep into this video, please take note of the positions of each of us. We are away from everybody. We make sure to keep our distance and we are far back and not engaging with anybody unless we are engaged with and asked any questions then we try to answer them. Of course, this is based on how we are asked. So if they respectfully ask, we will give them as much information as I am comfortable sharing. If they ask with any kind of attitude or bad vibes, or if they were complaining about us and trying to pretend to be nice, we will always limit the information that we share. So are you still recording now? What's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So I want to tell you how much I love my people in the post office. Okay. They are so good and kind and patient for yeah. all of us. So, yeah, we, we've had good experience here with them. So. All right. Thank you. Yep. Can I ask you another question? Shoot. Yeah. Why are your faces covered? So we, teach, we actually do educational channels, and part of that education is to remind people that you're constantly being filmed, and if you want privacy in public, you have to create your own privacy like we have. Crazy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Yes, ma'am. It's... Well, you have a mask on regardless, so you're fine. I have no idea. The lady who is wearing a big purple mask covering most of her face is in there complaining that we are wearing masks. You took a picture of him. Huh? <laughs> I was capturing you taking a picture. <laughs> What's that? I'm not allowed? Okay, so there, it says right here I can. Why bark an order at me just to then close the door right in my face as I'm trying to communicate back and forth with you? All right. Please. You have a good day, buddy. Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You gotta love it. You gotta love when they come in laughing. That's the best. <laughs> So the small gaggle of Karens that is forming at this desk alongside the gentleman working behind the counter are all fire starting a situation right here. One of them is on Google seeing if what we are allowed to do is lawful and while she says it is, she says that there is a disturbance being created by our presence, just by our mere presence, and therefore the post office needs to kick us out. We're also not disrupting anybody. That's their decision. That's their decision to be disrupted. It's your choice to be disrupted. We're not doing anything to disrupt. Little did we know that this one small situation was about to unleash amazing amounts of fury within this post office today. So buckle in and get ready for this crazy ride that is the Dana Point post office. And please give us a like. Today we definitely earned it. Disruption is an action. How you doing? Good. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Yeah. No, when we're, I'll, I'll talk to them oh, first, okay. and then uh, That's fine. I'll talk Either way. Mm -hmm. You know, the TV screen right here tells us we have to wear our masks. Every minute it displays that we have to wear our masks. So this postal worker is fire starting people instead of calming them down or deflecting. All right, so, so you guys came out last time we were here several times. Cool. They throw around disturbance, but we literally sit in the corners. We don't talk to anybody. We don't engage with anybody. They start coming at us. Now, we've done this post office twice now. The first time went perfect, excellent. The second time was a chaotic mess, and it was created by two women. This time, everything's fine until that woman right there started freaking out. No, no, no. Oh, the woman, the, the one in line. Okay. Yeah, so she kind of started the whole chaotic mess, and then the workers like to be like, "Oh, they're being disrupted." See, they're being. Our presence cannot be transferred into a disruption. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't force people to react the way that they're going to react. Ninety percent of people see us doing this. They come up, they ask questions, we're polite to them, we tell them what we're doing. Um, the rest of them ignore us and then you get a few that decide to lose their lid and it is what it is i mean you're filming us as we speak right now too and you're filming them too but they're not saying you're a disruption yeah. I you know what i mean yeah so you guys are you guys are within your right office absolutely your public place and public we're not going to create a disturbance we're not going to block any entrances or exits we're not going to disturb anybody right. so. yeah and then just so that you guys know it's not the uh Post office employees that are calling, it's just the customers, right? No, no, I know. I, I'm, I'm fully aware. So the post office employees here have been almost all professional, except for the gentleman that keeps telling people, like, that we're disrupting. Like, he's kind of, huh? Well, get it on, just send it to me. But it's, you know, the one worker, the rest have been fine. They're diffusing, they're telling them, oh, no, they're allowed to do it. You know, they're responding like that. But the one in the middle that's saying... Oh, he's disrupting. Oh, they're using COVID as an excuse. Well, well, okay, well, you know, he's not helping. He's just fire starting. You know, you know exactly what I mean because you, you deal with it all the time where a situation just rages out of control over what? Nothing. Yeah, I kind of asked what it's Yeah. Absolutely, I understand. So, um, yeah, guys, I mean, name and serial? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a business card. Like, all right. Like, my name is Deputy Racinos, and my kid is 10099. All right. And do you have a call ID, please? Caller ID? No, the call ID for this phone call. Oh, yeah, I can. I can okay, perfect. I would appreciate that. And did they call and say anything inflammatory or were they just... No, they just no, they just mentioned that. And you'll, you'll see it if you request it. Yeah. Uh, that it was just four males, masks, glasses, video recording, etc. Okay. I just want to make sure. So yesterday we had a couple inflated phone calls at a post office we were at. And they were 
throwing words like harassment and financial information and like so it was yeah i think this one just said that they were, they were recording inside perfect perfect no I, I and i can respect that so they wanted to make a call and i respect that as long as they keep it truthful you know what i mean Absolutely. yeah and regardless we're coming in unbiased right we're going to come in assess, you assess you it. came in unbiased yeah. you did you should see <laughs> yesterday's video Oh, yes. Are you it up? Oh, it's already live, but uh, yesterday... 8.38, last one. Yesterday, there was um, two sheriffs that came in and were kind of creating chaos unnecessarily and lying and trying to demand information. And they were like, they gave us attitude from the second we, that, they got, that they arrived. And I'm like, that's, that's not what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not. And it was an Orange County Sheriff, but it was on the Rancho Santa Margarita area. Um, but yeah, they, you know, very unprofessional and they're going to be judged in people's court now. So, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> All right, so right here, it's just going to be my, uh, my gang, my badge number's in there as well. And then perfect. the back is going to be the, uh, the call number. Yeah, perfect, number perfect. Says. Um, Perfect. If we get called out here again, obviously it's going to be the same. same no, I, I, like I said, hopefully you're the one that gets here because, you know, the, <laughs> so the last time we were out here, um, it was the same sheriff kept responding. So they ended up doing really good. It started a little like, because eh, they were attitude-ish. One of them was. Um, but it seemed at some point that off, one of them had, uh, one of the deputies had de-escalated the other deputy, which was helpful because then the future phone calls were all perfect. Um, but yeah, is that your partner? Or? Yeah, I'm partner. All right, do you have a name and number for him? Yeah, his, his uh, last name is Vasquez. And mm -hmm. then I'll have him uh, just give it to you. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's something, you got to go with this one. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, and then just uh, with Vasquez, what's your pick? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome. Right, Thank you guys for your professionalism. Right, right, yeah. Stay safe in the rain. Of course. All okay. right. No, 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 you go ahead. Are going to do it. No, I'm just taking video. For the post office? Yep. Of the post office. So I just want to let you know that, so the only reason, because we met you the other day and you were really nice. So the only reason we are back today is the gentleman, the taller one right there just so you can maybe correct the behavior because we're going to keep coming back as long as he keeps doing it. So what happens is he, you know, and the sheriff agreed because the sheriff heard it happening while he was standing there that your employee right there is fire starting with the customers. So when the customers ask, do you have the one on the left is really good. Like he's been telling them like, oh no, they're just filming, leave them alone. They want, you know, and, that, and that's a great response. The gentleman next to him, the taller one is saying, oh no, they're disturbing. Oh no, they're taming COVID. Oh, like he, he's stirring the pot. And that's the only reason we're back here today is because he did the same thing last time. So a conversation with him will help change how this occurs and also make it go away. Because we're going to keep coming back if he keeps stirring the pot because that's very, very bad on you guys. You know what I mean? Because if he's creating a disturbance by us being here, that's an issue with him, not us. You know what I mean? And it's going to create a situation where we have to keep coming back. All right. I just wanted you to have a heads up because we're going to keep coming back if he keeps doing that. Later in the video, she actually openly admonishes him in front of everybody. Well, even the sheriff saw it. We're just taking video, my friend. We're just taking video. So we... Okay, so that tells me you actually didn't want a real answer, which I would have given you, but you're a jackass. Hold on, can I at least pose? Sure. Is this sexy enough for you? Let's get a couple pictures. You can do a little photo shoot. Hey, keep practicing mind. your rights, man. Keep practicing them. So after complaining about us filming, this guy then walks into the post office and films everybody in the post office and does exactly what we are doing. And it's kind of just an asinine amount of irony that dumped on his forehead. And he doesn't even understand what he did. Hold on, what did he do? Except you're doing the exact same thing now. All right. I'm just, it's the exact same thing. I don't get it. What's that? 
it's cool what you guys are doing. Like, and, yeah. and I want to honor that as well. I think it's just like the mask thing. And like, okay, so the television on the wall tells us that we are required to wear masks still. So, and stay six feet away and all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. we're abiding by their recommendations and requests. So, but for the real, let me, let me explain why we do this. Okay, yeah, yeah. so we, we teach people about First Amendment protected activity, which includes freedom of speech, freedom of speech, press, um, basically any kind of form of expression, yeah. but also about privacy in public, which we've lost over the last four decades. I mean, you know, I don't know if you're old enough to remember a time where there wasn't cameras everywhere you go, but you are now being filmed between 70 and 80 times a day everywhere yeah, you go. Sucks. Um, so in order, so what we educate people about is if you want to maintain a level of privacy while you're out in public, the onus is on yourself, which is why we've created this here. Oh, yeah, all the cameras. And yes, which is why we've created our own privacy. And then we educate people that if you expect privacy in public while I'm holding a camera, like if I'm holding a camera and you, you walk in front of my camera or come up to it demanding you don't be filmed, I'm like, well, you're not going to, if that's what you want, then you have to do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is educational you know, it's not a COVID thing, or it, it's just educational. However, it is funny that while we're here, the TV is telling us that we should be masked up. So about every two minutes, it pops up, wear a mask, it's recommended, stay six feet apart, COVID's still a thing, and it, it's so a whole thing. So are you pro that or anti that? You so, going? you know, two years ago, I was the guy getting yelled at for not wearing a mask. Okay. Um, and then to find out at the end of all of it that masks really didn't do anything. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. So you can call this, see right there. So you can call this a level of maybe civil disobedience to maybe not conform <laughs> with what, you know, they... <laughs> what was your name? Cameron. My name is Mike. Nice to meet you. All right. No, I, uh, again, I was telling him, like, I think it's, you have the right to do whatever. But Absolutely. I think it's just, like, this day and age, it's like a bunch of people with masks on yep. and, like, I I 100% I 100% agree that it comes off as a little apprehensive like whoa what's going on yeah. but just like you have respectfully come up and requested information and asked we've shared that with you correct yeah, yeah. okay yeah. anybody else can have that opportunity to do the same but they choose not to they choose instead to attack call names give us cambacks you know the guy walking in here with his camera on doing the same thing filming every one of you guys while complaining that we're doing that is yeah. irony to the best level possible. Like, it's just like, yeah. and, he, and he didn't get it it's even after. Ex, it's hard to, I guess, uh, verbally explain it is. how we feel. So like, I get why he did it. This no, no, and, and I get it. Yeah, but yeah. you have to understand the irony if you're going to pull yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then here's the thing is, you know, did you notice every camera when you walked in this room? Um, I'm I not, not ours. But in general, do you pay attention to every camera when you walk by a building, it's into so a building? Exactly. So yeah. The only reason people respond to this camera is because it's not, it's not attached to a pole or a post or a ceiling. It's literally well, attached. By the business, yeah. which it's, has it's, no government. Yeah, like, but it's attached to a person, so therefore it creates the issue. That's when, they, that's when they notice it, is because it's attached to a person, not a pole or sitting in the corner. They don't, it's we've weird. gotten so used to that, that. And it's weird because you guys are dressed like this. I feel like you guys are against or anti like what I believe in, but hearing you talk, I'm like, well, maybe we have the same. <laughs> exactly. Values, and that's like, why I, I would never do this, but it's, no, like, no. but, but I still appreciate and respect. And that is people. why asking questions and having conversation is way more important than freaking out and calling us, you know, freaks and post. Like yeah. yesterday, um, somebody took a picture of us and put it on a Facebook group and it got like 400 comments and it was half and half. So half people were defending us and our rights to do it. Half of them were Karens having complete and total utter meltdowns and making accusations and things like that. And so, and the perfect example of how to approach and how not to approach waddles her way right into the conversation. That's again, that's why we create our own privacy. Okay, you're in public, ma'am, and I'm not gonna have this whole argument with you now. You know, had you had you come over a few yeah. minutes ago, he'll I'm tell you. Okay. I'm trying to conduct okay, but you're asking not in a not in a very. You're wearing masks, okay. and you're not shooting. All right, shooting so, you're not, so, you're not, so you're not so you're not so you're not going to get an answer. Like he got an answer, What's and he's. Your name? I'm not giving you my name. This is ridiculous. He was respectful. He got an answer, and I. Okay. It doesn't matter. If you ask him, 
If he believes what we're doing is right now, I bet you he'll say yes. And that's the right way to do it. Just how you responded today means that we now have to come back next week as well. So would you be open to a suggestion? Not really. Okay. But, but um, hey, at least you're honest. I would have, you know. Uh, yeah, no, I've been here since two in the morning. Yeah. The other gentleman was really good about deflecting the customer's concerns. Um, and so the only thing I would suggest is, you know, even if you don't receive it. I'm not. I just agree right. with the customer because they're always right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we do. We do all the above. <laughs> I don't take anything seriously, so I'm not even taking you guys seriously. Okay. Just, um, That's part of the problem, but you know. Uh, it just is what it is. I don't understand how this would affect my freedom. Well, no, and so that's, and that's where asking questions are really good. Give me one sec. Yep. Damn. Usually the, the postal record is very good. She's I heard it. We actually, we told her the only reason. The only reason we're, the only reason. <laughs> the only reason we're back here today is because he fire started a bunch of customers the other day when we were here. And so we came back and he did the same thing today. So instead of deflecting. No, no, no. Go ahead. So, so instead of deflecting, it's like, you know. Yeah. Nick. What did he say? What did he say? He keeps firing by the customer. Like, until now, he's still using Really? He's making, like, every time we say we're creating our own privacy, he's making that. Thing. He's having a hard time in our final moments of peace at this location, please keep in mind, as you can see, we are being peaceful, we are being Damn. quiet, we are maintaining our own space, and we are not intruding on anyone else's space. You have a channel? We're the SoCal dumpster diving couple. That's us. <laughs> Is us? We only have three videos on. You're you're fine. Oh, it's you're fine. I'll I'll share it with them and then yeah. Thank you so much no for worries. being so lovely. And that's all it takes. People don't realize. I mean, I think it's epic. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good one. Yeah, his shirt says America first, but he's in here trying to take away First Amendment rights. Yeah, no, I noticed. <laughs> First Amendment rights and you're covering the face. That's another yes. one of our rights. That's, that's another one of our rights. You're perfect. Yeah. Okay. You're pathetic. You're not showing the actual. All right. Thank you for expressing yourself. There you go. I don't think that shirt you're wearing, I don't think you're reflecting that very well. And that, that's another one of your rights. Freedom of speech, sir. There's another one of your rights. That would be a question. You guys can do it. Okay. Take it to get you out of the post office. Why are you guys wearing this shirt? Is there a question? Well, Normally, everyone uses loan, or we have nice conversations as we saw with that young lady. Occasionally, someone has a meltdown, so. And you, you need some help? Well, 
So it might be that the vent is full, so if you ring the bell, she can actually come and get it from the inside. Yeah, that's, that's your first commitment. That's your, that is your practice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, hey, you're practicing you it too, so. I surely have. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts yelling at you. Why don't you take off your mask like see your face? I don't have to. I'm cleaning my own privacy. Oh, really? Spit on you? you want me to spit if you do that, you're going to jail. If you do that, you're going to jail. If you do that, you go to jail. You're going to get pepper sprayed in a minute, sir. Yeah, you know what? So you. Oh, if you try okay, you do that in federal property. Sir? Alright, we just got that on video. Nick, back up, back up. Hey, watch out. No, no, so we do First Amendment audits. Love, I love First Amendment. Okay, and... You know, most everyone's been very pleasant today. We got a ton of positive interactions. Are you, are you guys taking like a uh, like a like a poll? No, no. We just so what we do is we record in public spaces, teach people that you're allowed to record, and that if you want privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. We're being filmed over 70 to 80 times a day when you're out in public, and so we just remind people of that fact. And the only reason they notice this camera is because there's a person attached. They don't notice the cameras on your Tesla, for example, or on the building, for example. I, that's not my thought. I oh, okay, well, <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying though, but um, so that's what we, we're here to educate that. We have an educational channel that teaches all that. We, we disseminate positive and bad reactions that we have and experience with, um, how the police respond, how the workers behave. The only reason we're even back here today is because that one of the employees, the taller one, yeah. fire started everybody last time we were here. And so we have to come back and now we have to come back again because he did it again today. And, but this time we actually got to talk to a supervisor. So you're a master, right? Like identity protection. So it's not just that it's, we or are reminding, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. So we are reminding people that you have to create your own level of privacy that you want out in public. And that's what this is for. So we can educate that. I get it. I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind answering questions when people ask us very. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, you got your go bag. I was like, this looks serious, you know, but I don't know. So, I mean, you know, I mean, whatever. So, I get it. Hey, hey, good luck to you guys. You have guys have a good day. and Stay safe in the ring, guys. Yeah, no, you too, man. Yep. I make sure my son sprayed second, so he's never going to be the first to shoot. But in doing that, it sometimes means you got to take some spray to the face, too. So we're just filming the ongoings of the post office. Everybody coming in and out. He's actually well, him. anybody that walks by, we always get them. Why are you covering your face, though? I created the level of privacy I want, just like you did with the hat and sunglasses. The only thing you forgot is facial at the bottom of your face, which honestly no why one can recognize you, you from. Why, why do you want privacy? To teach people, to educate people about our rights, to create your own privacy, and to film in public. Walk All right. right All right. <laughs> well, I tried. Well, they're going to do the walk of shame, right? Give it. That's when they realize how, how ignorant they can yeah. Hey, you just assaulted him on camera. You just assaulted him on camera, bro. You just assaulted him on camera. Hey, get his plate number. Get his plate number. Right in the face, too. Dana Point, you got to do way better than this. This is crazy to me that, that uh, like... The guy's wearing an American flag shirt and didn't want to hear anything we were saying about our freedoms and our rights to do this. Like, do we have ID? Yeah, you know, like for university or if that's what you're working for or something like that. Could you no, know? no, so there, there's no agency that actually issues credentials. Oh, really? For, for this kind of There's thing? not an agency. The only place you get credentials is like if you work for NBC, they give you credentials. Oh, okay. I, used, I used to work at UCI before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some schools might give you credentials, but yeah, but there's not, a, there's not, there's no agency. So, and anybody can act as the press. It's, you know, oh, okay. citizen jewelry. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. What are you guys? This is all. I was just filming the post office, the ongoing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, buddy. You have a good day, buddy. If you think people assaulting us is finished, uh, stay tuned because it's not. Stay safe out there at the wet roads. Huh? The cops About all that? No, they're not. They, nothing's yeah. ever. Yeah. I saw the dude walking back again, so I was just here and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, no, it did. It, 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 that, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I know. You're very upset. <laughs> 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 Got a 
the leak. Yeah. Got a question. What are you doing? I'm just taking some video of the post office. So we have a reason, we just don't usually get into that while we're in the lobby. Yeah, we've explained it to a few people outside, but not, I don't. Yeah. I'm videotaped every day. Every, every time you leave the house, you've got a video of you being taken over 70 times a day now. Cars that drive by, shops you walk by, people on their phones recording. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Just to remind people we're being filmed in public over 70 times a day. And I actually have access to all these cameras as well. So it's, you know, regardless whether I'm here or here, you can FOIA request the footage from the post office. Because we educate people that we're, we remind them that we're being filmed in public. Okay. I understand. You guys have a job or is this your job? I'm retired. Oh, you're retired? Yep, I'm retired. Thank you to my sons. Boy, you must have been very, very, well, very young. I worked my butt off <laughs> for, you know. Yeah, you know, this is, you know, it's something, education needs to happen. Be, be reminded to exercise our rights. Oh, we just audit the post office, take some video. Yep. Yep. Thank you very much. I love your pants, by the way. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Someone said Mary Day, Mary Day and Blige. and very much respect for the Machiavelli T-shirt. Oh, they kind of remind me of like a spacesuit from those older movies. Oh, I don't know, I'm old, so I think it's appropriate. So it's funny. So being my age, and I, you know, people people will listen to Tupac's music all the time, and I'll say, well, who's who's Machiavelli? And they're like, oh no, oh. Well, disappointment. Well, All of the banging that you are hearing is from a gentleman that's slamming the Dropbox machine intentionally to cover up the conversation that we're having. Yeah. You have a good day, ma'am. <laughs> no. <laughs> he did on purpose. He's a jackass. But it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's funny earlier and then here soon throwing around the word disturbance for us being there is kind of psychotic in comparison to the fact that people are doing this kind of behavior where he's slamming that machine closed just to annoy us. All right, did you get me with the hot pants? Yeah, I, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, this is um, not just a fashion statement. It's a statement. Absolutely. Wonder Woman. No, we need Wonder Woman. Absolutely. And Gaza needs Wonder Woman. Both sides. Most of the world. Yeah. yeah. You, that's what you're doing, guys. You have a good day. Someone from another country where this isn't allowed yeah. is okay with this. Exactly. <laughs> I can just sense a cam back coming. See big picture. We get our cam back. I don't know if people try to sneak pictures of us. I'll just take a picture, I'll smile for it. Yeah, I'll pose for your pictures. Let me know. <laughs> Oh, she's taking one too. Hey, sweet. Damn, she's, she's been there a minute. I just noticed. What's that? Oh, we're just taking video of the post office, but right now we're trying to keep people from getting burned. There's, um, there's OC spray all over the door right there, and people keep touching it coming in. So if you touch your eyes after you touch that door, it's going to not feel good. So right now we're trying to get somebody to clean it. Oh, there you go. Hey, we need. Excuse me. All right, you know what? I'm. Gonna, 
When your customers start burning their eyes, that's on you guys then. What happened? Because if you post anything, can I request that my face is not shown? No, you're in public. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm that's not my job. I'm trying to get them to clean it, but they're ignoring me. No, not the door person. So why are you telling me to hold the door? Hey, I'm not answering your questions. You're giving me nothing but attitude. I've answered questions. Everybody has been polite, but you're not doing so. They could clean the window so their customers don't burn their face. We actually can, it's fully legal. It's legal. There's nothing illegal about filming in public. Ma'am, okay. for the 15th time I've told him and these guys, you have, someone pepper sprayed your entire entrance. Your customers are now touching that door to come in and then when they rub their face, they're gonna have to go to the ER. I've now informed you guys several times and you guys have ignored it, including the guy that answers the door. You need to grab something to clean that glass with. It is completely covered in pepper spray. You, want to take you guys are idiots. Like you're letting your customers get burnt eyes. We've been informing you guys for 20 minutes, watching people touch this glass, trying to get them not to. Literally, you guys had a customer deal with the issue before you guys did. So guys, the staff here at this post office is refusing to take pepper spray off of the door. And the manager has pretty much just looked at us like, it's our problem to fix. They are refusing, so this entire door is covered in pepper spray. So everybody that touches this door is getting burned face as soon as they touch this door. That's all pepper spray. If you uh, in charge of the post office, I'm just curious. You don't think that's a problem? I do, but okay. how do you know about I'm it? I'm a concerned citizen. I watched it happen. Somebody tried to spray us when we because we're filming about an hour ago. Were you filming it then? I absolutely filmed yeah. the entire incident. That, that means this has been sitting Why are they doing that? They chose to respond very poorly to being filmed. But why are people doing that? Why are they sparing the uh, pepper spray? I have no idea. You'd have to ask them. But you're not recording us, are you? Yeah. We just record everything that's going on. Yes, you're going to have to pay me if you record <laughs> Somebody sprayed pepper spray on this window right here. Regardless, they hit the window instead of us. Okay. But I've been alerting them for about 30 minutes and people are touching it. And as soon as a customer touches that door and then touches their face, like that's an issue. And all I've been getting from this gentleman is attitude when I'm trying to tell him about the spray. A bunch of losers I saw. Yeah, this is the guy I tried to inform and he just ignored the problem. He didn't even get all the spray off either, look at that. Yeah, there's still, yeah, there's there's still, still pepper spray all over the door. Dang, come on, man. He didn't want to go over the door. It's all on the bottom still, all on this side. He, he barely, barely spread it around, that's all he did. So the, the door still has spray on it. He doesn't care. So if you look at the TV, um, it's actually every three, two or three minutes, it's telling us to wear our masks. So we're actually complying with their requests. I've never been to a post office that has completely disregarded their customer's health. I mean, it, it is serious. I mean, if they touch that door and then they rub their eyes, they're, they're gonna end up going to the ER because they're not gonna know why their face is on fire. I know, the person they sent to clean it out, like he didn't yeah. do it. Well, it's not even that. So they, they actually sent someone out to clean it, but the guy is already irritated with us being here. So he did a really half-assed job and just smeared the pepper spray even worse. So now the pepper spray is covering the entire door <laughs> and they really don't care. So I'm I, I, definitely this video is going to the postmaster. <laughs> Look at all that. Pe that's all pepper spray, guys. It, he, he just smeared it everywhere. And there's still big-ass gobs of it just all over the door.
Oh, we're like, so. Oh, this is great. Oh, uh, dang. Hello again. Did you guys call? We didn't call. Oh, somebody else called. So let me explain what happened. What, what happened was mm -hmm. so a gentleman had come through, okay? Okay. Um, got really mad at just our existence. Mm -hmm. Shot pepper spray at the glass. So everybody that's walking in now is touching that and then rubbing their eyes. And so people are leaving with uh, eyes on fire. Yeah. We informed the post office. They refused to clean it. <laughs> I was like, okay, well. Where's, uh, who'd you inform in the post office? All, all the, I mean, the manager knows, all of them know, so it's, there's nothing we can do about it. I'll talk to them then. We're, we're, yeah. It's a health issue, like, literally, and the manager doesn't care. Nobody cares that that window's covered in pepper spray. That whole window's covered in pepper spray, and they don't care. Yeah, you can still see the droplets of it over here. Like, and whoever came out here and wiped it just smeared it everywhere. So, well, it's their building, it's up to yeah, sucks for the customers. I've been trying to tell a few of them, but I even put that there. They didn't even bother. I put that there, so hopefully no one wants in. No, I'm good. Can I get names and serials real quick? Uh, well, just just to state it. Oh, state it. Yeah. This? Just no, no, just names and serials. Oh. Awesome. J. Hodges, one zero four five four. Perfect. Thank you guys so much, and you guys be safe out there on these wet roads. Yep. How you doing, buddy? Not much. Not much. This guy is about to wreak all kinds of havoc throughout the post office for the next hour. I had to trim out a lot of footage because obviously you didn't want to watch an hour of all of this chaos. But notice how we are being extremely welcoming and polite to that gentleman. Just don't touch the door on the left, or the right. Yeah, that, that right door has pepper spray all over it. What happened? Somebody yes. sprayed. Somebody the, the, and, uh, well, oh, ma'am, don't. No, 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 no. Go. Some guy got Wash. Mad. Okay, that, that door is covered in pepper spray, so don't rub your eyes since you touched that door. Yeah, somebody pepper sprayed the door. It's hard to convince people out there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, sir. You dropped something. I'm not sure if it was sir. important, but hey, or not. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Sir, you <laughs> oh, what's going on, man? This is like. <laughs> Dude, that's the third time the cops have pulled up for us. And it will soon be the fourth. <laughs> you have a good day. Have a good day, sir. I'm going to go back inside. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, guys. Are <laughs> well, it's like, funny. Well, it, it sucks face. because the first half of our video was very calm, collected. Now it's a little chaotic, but it's because... That one guy with the spray completely changed the trajectory. <laughs> well, it's because, like, oh, yeah. I can't... I feel bad if we just let people touch it. And... That's why I've been opening the door for people, like, telling them to go through that door. Yeah. I'm going to grab the door for her. Do we at least have a fun story behind it? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, watch these. These floors suck. So yeah. 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 What happened? Uh, that guy tried to assault me. Pepper spray. Pepper spray? Yeah. Pepper spray all over it. We told the post office they don't care. <laughs> pepper spray for what? Some I, angry guy. Some angry guy with pepper sprayed towards us because we were filming. <laughs> We've got the door. <laughs> There's no privacy in public. Get me off of the video. Sir, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm tired of this. They just came and talked to us already. Get me off of the video. I don't want to be on the video. Then you gotta get out of public, sir. Then you tell me who's your boss. 
And you say you can't do it? And I'd say I'm not going to do it, sir. Because? Because you're being incredibly rude. This is rude. Look at this shit. That's actually not what our channel is about. We actually educate about other things. We educate people like him. But nothing but a young Karen to make falsehoods. That's fine. You should be an adult. I am. Everybody that has the American shirts are always the ones that freak out. I'm like, okay, that's different. Get the fucking thing out of my face. Hey, don't. Hey, oh, 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 that's, that's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. Let go that's assault. of the camera. That's assault. That, that is assault. that is assault. Sir. That is assault. Sir. That is assault. Leave him alone. That is assault. Back up, dude. Do not talk to me that way. Get out of here. Sir, if you touch me again, I will spray you. Get out of here. Guys, back up. Let him be the. You just assaulted me, sir. Grab the fucking camera. Out That's assault. assault. I got everything on camera. Actually, when I walk in, you block the entrance. Because it's covered in pepper spray, we're trying to keep people from burning their face. That door is covered with pepper spray. Did you spray it? No, not at all. Why would you think I sprayed the door? And I'm no, trying to. Okay. Because you caused right. a mess here. I'm. Was there an incident? There was pepper spray. Some guy, some guy got mad there? and pepper sprayed the door. So we've been trying to warn people to not touch the door and then touch their face. Why? It's just public space here, right? Doesn't mean you can assault people. Yeah, maybe you think they can assault people. Watch out! Watch out for what? What are you threatening? The such thing is. Watch out! Are you? Oh, we do this every day, and this never happens. So we do this very peacefully. I have a whole channel about educating people on the rights that we have in the, that so we also remind people that you're being filmed 70 times a day when you leave the house. We also remind people to create the level of privacy that you want in public. So we have an educational channels that are all about that. Yeah. You know, for people to then come up and grab and hold on to my son to the point where I can't even separate them, like that's, you know, that's bullshit. Okay. Ma'am. I'm trying to help you from burning your face and you freaked out on me just from telling you that there is pepper spray to wash your hand. Okay. What's your name? I'm not giving you any information. What's your name? Do not, hey, do not do touch not. him. I'm not touching him. Do you're, not. Sir, you're coming within my space. I'm going your, to take that as a threat. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You're not going to tell me your names? You're not, what's, your, what's your boss? Who's your boss? Me. I'm my boss here. That's it. I don't want you to be the smartest. Hey, don't, don't try to assault me. I'm not assaulting you. You literally already did it. You I got the entire thing on camera. And I've got witnesses here that disagree. Uh, well, no, witness, no, no, witness no, versus witness camera, camera, camera is different. No witness is better than the camera. Like wear those ugly pants? Pardon me, I'm sorry for your small clothes. I did not wish to be filmed. That's that's fine, but you're in public. I don't care. You're in public too. I have the right to know who's okay. filming me. That's pull no, your mask down. Let no, me thank see you. Who's here. no thank well, you. Don't turn this thing off. Hey, do turn not assault off. me. You're about turn to assault off. me and the I'm not touching you. Turn and the off. cops turn are here. Off. You're assaulting me. No, I'm, I'm not. fearful of the guy behind the mask. That's your opinion. No, that is my feeling. So that's you're, your, you're that's dating exactly, my feelings. That's your feelings. That's, that's exactly. not the law. No, I'm not touching you. Your feelings and the law are two you. separate things. I'm not touching you. All right. So how so do you feel? How do you feel? How old are you to be acting like this? Huh? How do you feel? Yeah, I don't want to be on it's World fine, Wide Web. That's my You're favorite. already on here. You're already on my channel and everything. Uh, I know. Well, good for you. Look. You're going to be my thumbnail, wow, actually. Wow, wow. What are I'll you? put you, actually, since you're doing this, what are you you're going to be the buddy? thumbnail of my video. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you put go. Perfect. On, yeah. Actually, just like that, that's perfect. You're going to be the front of my video. Huh? When everyone clicks on it, they're going to see your face. I'm a star. I'm a star. Turn around and leave. I don't you're, in I'm, you're in public. You're in public. There's young children You're in public. First note. I did not tell you to bring your spawn in front of my camera. You're in public. Well, you're being pretty rude. Second note, was she telling the older gentleman who was nearly assaulting my son that he was being pretty rude?
being okay with one behavior and not with the other is completely ignorant. I don't have to. I, I created my own privacy. I don't have to show my face. I'm in public. <laughs> I know. He is a dangerous. Oh, you guys must be in law school, huh? <laughs> you teach teaching you well at school. Hey, they didn't teach you, obviously. They didn't teach you. That Whatever thing. school you went to 50 years ago, they didn't teach you anything. I have no idea what you're protesting. It was actually one of the customers. Don't try and lie. I was just repeating what the customer told me. Okay. You think we sprayed the door? Yeah, wash your hands if you touch the front door. Perfect. Okay, so the fact that these people in this post office have an issue with filming more than they have an issue with violent attack or assault is a big issue, number one. Number two, I have it all on video and I had to physically put myself in between to remove, because he had a grip on my son, and I had to physically put myself in between to remove the threat. Didn't even touch hands or lay anybody. So if anybody's going down for assault today, if he wants to push the issue, it's gonna be him. At least let me pose. Smile. <laughs> Smile. You guys have a good day. But you're in public, you have to create... Okay. You have to create your own privacy, the love... Okay. If you just want to interrupt, I'm, just, I'm done talking. You're just going to interrupt, I'm done talking. You ask a question, we start to answer, and then you interrupt. So we're done. You did. Okay. He explained it already. Your fear is on you, it's not on me. If you walk around being afraid, that's a bad place to be. Nick, stay in here. I want you to record if anybody gets any Talks they like, tried to say they're going to falsify statements. Okay, but don't tell him that yet. Tell the cops that. I, that way, yeah. No, you're good. It's all right. All right. He, okay, we got the entire thing on film. So, as a champion of de-escalation, I just want to say, we're, we're no, no, I, I want to talk with him for just well, a second. We're talking to him. So okay. Yeah, I don't want to talk right. to you. You're I have, rude, I have, okay. I have on camera, you drew blood off of, you assaulted him on camera and drew blood, which is an actual assault. You did draw blood. I had to separate you two and I have it all on camera. He called you here to press charges on my son. This, this, everyone, is the blood that I'm talking about when he grabbed my hand. Yeah, he literally, uh, he literally dug his claws into my hand. Better.
Uh, well, again, guys, sorry about your dicks, you know, and hope okay. you can. Uh, so, give them a little you bit called on false minutes. charges. You so, made up false okay. charges. I, hold on, listen. I have it on video. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you again. Then I'll. You don't leave because we. I'm going to get you a ticket right now. Okay. I have on video him assaulting my son. I had to separate them physically. Okay, because he grabbed my son, he, he did, drew he blood. blood. I got it on. I got it on video. Not just that, but then he called okay. you guys here on false charges, uh -huh. and we got it on video while he was soliciting yeah, false testimony. Bullshit, by the way. I have it all on camera. camera. Camera does not lie. He was trying to get other patrons in there to lie. Okay, so the here. sheriff deputies are allowing him to leave after committing an assault. I was trying to show him the video. What do you want done? Okay, and I was trying to explain that to you. What do you want done? I'd like him to be cited for the assault. Okay. Well, do you have a video of it? Yes, I, I do. Video. And, and but you let him leave. Him? No. Okay. Then don't just. It's fine. Just let it go. They're not gonna. They're not gonna follow through with it. Okay. So they just let you get assaulted. Right. These, these deputies. Okay. They're allowing this man you, to leave. What do you want assaulting me? No, no. Just leave. it's fine. We're done. All right. You guys let him leave anyway, so nothing was gonna happen. We already got their name and badge numbers earlier. That's ridiculous, bro. The fact that the sergeant just let that happen. On Thursday, we will be going down to the Orange County Sheriff's Department to file a complaint on these three deputy peoples. And I have some much worse language for them, but I'm going to keep it professional. Yeah. What's that? I like YouTube. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Here. You call it unbelievable. I'm trying to help people. Put this on your left hand. So someone decided to pepper spray that door earlier. Now people are touching that door. The post offices refused to clean it. And then they touched their eyes and they're leaving with red eyes and burning oh, eyes. Shit. Dude, we weren't even planning on pressing charges, but I wanted to see how the cops were going to behave on this one while we were talking about the possibility. Because I didn't call the police, they called the police, and I'm not the one that got assaulted. They assaulted my son again, my twice name? today. Twice today, they assaulted my son. Mm -hmm. Now, the deputies let him leave the location while they were investigating it, which is insane to me. I was just about to show you. This guy right here is yelling at me. In the so I love the now, fact but... that all the Karens inside that had an issue with the uh, filming going on. We're actually okay with felony assault, but not with the filming, which is crazy to me that that happened. What are you guys doing? I was just thinking, but you will literally think we're pranking hey, but the, the crazy part is that all the people were agreeing to do false charges on Exactly. That's so the craziest thing in the world, guys, is all of the Karens that were already upset that we were there filming agreed on camera to then provide false testimony against us for assault that we didn't commit. That's why we film everything, and that's why we're going to keep filming everything, and that is why we are out here, and that is also why I wear this. You've got to protect your own privacy, the privacy level that you want in public. You have to maintain that privacy level. And the fact that those Karens were literally about to be excited for throwing us in jail on false charges is crazy to me. They're not worried about a man that's mentally ill assaulting people in public for filming, but they're worried about the people filming. That's the crazy part. All right, guys, we are here at the beautiful Dana Point Postal Office, and today went not as expected at all. Um, this is just an asinine amount of information for us to kind of process and disseminate today. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this. So um, if you've made it all the way through this video and you get to see this part, please give me the like, <laughs> throw us a comment. Um, this editing of this video today is going to be just ridiculous. I'm going to have to process it in my head multiple times just to figure out how to lay this out. Um, but I appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you guys have watched all the way through, I greatly appreciate that. And it means a lot to me. And uh, make sure you guys give a sub to my uh, son's channels. I'll post those. And we are also out here with Southern Cali Transparency. So, yeah. Thank you for being here, man.